up you guys welcome back we're gonna have a bit of a longer video today because we're doing a throwback we're gonna open two packs from each set of Sun and Moon except for Detective Pikachu we only have one pack I was not gonna spend $20 on one of their little collection boxes just to open two packs that have four cards in them so we happen to get one pack in a blister with one of the Sun and Moon base set packs so we're gonna just go from there my wife is here with me. She is going to assist. She will be opening one and I will be opening the other. I guess you can call this a pack battle if you want to, but don't because then I'll lose. Uh -huh. But if this is your first time here on the channel, my name is Wizard Canto. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to join me while I open Pokemon cards. And if this is your first time here, I post Pokemon openings three times a week or more, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. If you pop that, I'm going to scream. <laughs> Our friend Nate taught her this trick where you get all of the air out of the pack, like you make it all go up to the top and you smack it and it pops and it opens them perfectly, which is great, but it also makes a loud noise and scares me. It's amazing. All right, so here we go with the first pack. I will be giving my code cards away. I cannot speak for my wife if she, she is not giving hers away. So there's that. That's the order. This is the order. We're going bloop. Bloop, bloop, yes. Okay. Alrighty, starting with a fire energy. Alolan Radicate, EXP Share, Pelipper, Makuhita, Cutie, whoop, Cutie Fly, Rousey, Rowlet, Torco! Hey, a reverse rare, very nice. <gasps> a hyper rare Solgaleo! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Look! You guys! Oh my god! A rainbow! See? <gasps> Sword and Shield has brought you luck, baby. Guys, I'm so excited! We don't have this card. I haven't pulled a rainbow from, like, older Sun and Moon sets in so, so long. I think the last rainbow I pulled from Sun and Moon was a, a Hyper Rare Solar Poke and Psyduck from Unified Minds. <gasps> Look at him! Wow, shiny boy! Um, I was just gonna ask you guys how your all's week was going. Happy 50% off chocolate day. Ba -ba -ba. I forgot what I said. Oh, happy 50% off chocolate day. If you're craving some chocolate, make sure you go to your nearest store and check their Valentine section because y'all know that shit's 50% off already. Because it always is. These are kind of wonky cut. At least that shelter was. Ba, 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 ba! Another pull already. Guys, we are doing so well. This is amazing. So I'm going in order of when the sets came out. All right, so Sun and Moon was a super long-running series for the cards and for the anime. Sun and Moon base set came out February 3rd, 2017. Now we're getting into Guardians Rising, which is the second Sun and Moon set. It came out May 5th, 2017. And that was a long time ago, considering the last Sun and Moon set just came out in November of 2019. All right, let's see what we get. Ooh from Guardians Rising. <laughs> get upside down cards is what we get. Kamala. These are so wonky. Rescue Stretcher. Alola Mola. Cliff Fairy. Rock Ruck. Barboach. I forgot how to read for a second, so I stumbled over my word. All of these are such, so poorly cut. Fletchling. Reverse Hollow Gothita. <gasps> and a full art like Are you guys freaking kidding me? Look at the luck with these random ass single packs. I literally just went so I had one of each pack art set aside to just save and keep and I found like 18 packs not literally I found like 10 packs of Guardians Rising so I just picked some random ones that were left over from a booster box we did and it, this it's amazing we've been having some great luck with these oh my goodness most of um some of them I did open like GX boxes and EX boxes that we hadn't yet opened and don't really plan to do videos with we just got them to to have them um and i think it was just the slope this uh slope of snorlax box i opened to get like the crimson invasion or something out of and we, we're just having good luck with picking up the random ones oh another reverse rare and a non-hollow rare haunch i think it must be. 2020 is my year, y'all. 2020 is my year for the good polls. Now we're moving on to Burning Shadows, which came out August 4th of 2017. 
That is, just three days after my lovely wife's birthday. And two days after my sister's birthday. One, two, three, four, flip to the front. Now, Burning Shadows is an amazing set, which caused a ton of hype because it was the first set that had a Charizard GX. A huge deal. Huge, huge deal. So that card is still, not all the way there, is still worth, I would say around $140, I think, maybe more, which is a lot. Okay, you're, you're tough too. Losing my mind here. All right, that's the Ho-Ho Pack Art. I'm losing my mind, guys. Kiawe, Corian 2, Bloop, Metapod, Morlo, Dusko, Oddish, Tynamo, Mudbray, hey, another reverse rare, and a Heracross, non hollow rare. That's okay. Still good pulls there. Let's get into the next set to come out, which is the first holiday set of the Sun and Moon era. It is Shining Legends. Which came out, sorry, I'm looking at my chart here, October 6, 2017. Wow, this is like, this one's really hard to open. Struggling here. Now these I had bought from our local card shop some time ago. And just had them lying around, so this is the perfect video to use them for. All right. Shining Legends introduced, or I guess reintroduced, shiny Pokemon. And the most expensive shiny Pokemon from this set, I believe, is the shiny Mew. Shining Mew. Ooh, the Hollow Manty. Um, which was about $10.40 the last time we checked. We've got a lovely Rayquaza pack. So, there's also some very nice secret rares with this card. You've got the Mew Tube, which is the Mew Tube in the tube, like the, I guess it's where he was grown and created in. Um, there's also a Rainbow Rare Mew Tube, which is very nice. We've got a Reverse Hollow Lidden, and I saw her go for a sleeve, so I think we have a pull. An NTGX, very nice. Well, we have pulled that before, it's still nice to get another one. We'll never complain about a pull here, because we love them all. All right, putting them up here. Get some of these energies out of the way. Move these pack arts out of the way. Now we're moving on to Crimson Invasion, which came out November 3rd of, did it say 3rd? Yeah, November 3rd of 2017. Grumpy, Mawile, Counter Energy, Pikachu, Alolan Geodude, Mischievous, Minchino, Nummel, Reverse Hollow Jenga Moe, and a Starmie. All right. Crimson Invasion is a pretty small set, if I remember correctly. Yeah, only 111 cards. I'm not sure off the top of my head how many secret rares there were, but I don't think there was many. I know this is one of the first sets we got a, a ton of. Because when we first started buying the GX boxes and stuff, there was just so much of, so many of them that had Crimson Invasion. Oops, sorry guys. So we ended up getting a ton of cards from this set, and then when we bought a bunch of bulk stuff, we ended up getting a bunch too. So that was probably one of the sets we first had that was near complete. A Molga, Swablu, Swanad, Nemo, Ninchino, Mischievous. Reverse Hollow Mobile <gasps> and a Full Art Sylvalli! How beautiful, guys. We are killing the pulls today. That's absolutely amazing. I don't think we have that, so. So exciting that we get to be putting stuff in our binders that we haven't looked at in a while. All right, now we're moving into Ultra Prism, which came out in Febu on February 2nd of 2018. Ultra Prism holds a special place in my heart because it has some of the most beautiful full art cards. I forgot where I put the images. Where'd they go? I'm so lost. Oh, you put them in there. Wait a what happened here? Oh well, I'm losing my mind, guys. Um, it has some beautiful full art trainers. There's still a ton of cards. I would love to pull from this set. I know a lot of people feel the same way about Ultra Prism, but it is one of their favorite Sun and Moon sets. 
It was loved by so many. Oh, the wash Rotom, non holo rare. Um, but I do have quite a few dollar Ultra Prism packs that I plan on opening with a friend of mine, so we might make that into a video. I don't know, we'll see. It might be in a vlog. But we're on the hunt for some of them full art trainers, like the Lily, which I think is still worth around $70. I opened that pack very well, guys. Look how nicely that opened. All right. Go, go. One, two, three, four. Flip to the front. All righty. Now, you guys can let me know in the comments below what your favorite set from Sun and Moon is. Even though I just asked that, I think, earlier this week in the video. <gasps> Ooh, a Giratina Prism. Now, I will count that as a pull because that is a rare. And I love the prism stars. I think they're absolutely beautiful. Um, Do you know you're only allowed to have one prism card with that name instead of four? Like every I wonder why. Prism stars. That's weird. I don't know why. Um, so we'll put this up here with the polls. I lost my train of thought. Guys, I'm slowly losing my mind. I, I deeply apologize. I sincerely apologize. All right, we've got Forbidden Light, which came out May 4th, 2018. Okay. Halucha. Poipo. Ultra Space. I don't ever remember seeing this. I've never seen that card. During, uh, once during each player's turn, that player may search your deck for an Ultra Beast card. Reveal it, and put, uh, reveal it, put it into their hand, shuffle their deck. Interesting. Fly baby. Grogunk. Conjure. Froki. Esper. Reverse Hollow Boy Bowl and a Hollow Auroras. That's a nice pull. Very, very beautiful Hollow pattern. We love Auroras. Now we'll get into my pack of the Forbidden Light. So far, I'm very impressed with the pull rate. We've gotten two Full Arts, two GX, a Hyper Rare, and a uh, Prison Star. I just looked at Giratina and said Giratina. Did I tell you guys the date this set came out? I don't think I did. May 4th, 2018. Maybe I did? I don't know. I'll find out when I edit. Azelf, Spupa, Dedene, Litleo, Furfru, Inke, Magnemite, Honedge, Reverse Hollow Furfru, and a non hollow Zygarde. Zygarde is definitely one of my favorite legendaries. He holds a special place in my heart and my life's because he has a dog form. That's pretty dope. Uh, da -da. Celestial Storm came out on August 3rd of 2018. Struggling here with my comfort for some reason. Ba -ba -ba. Now, I'm not too sure what cards to be on the lookout for for this set. It's been so long since we've opened it. We actually had to buy today at GameStop a Blastoise GX box because it was, ooh, nice Hollow Lunala. The first thing we found that had a, a pack of Celestial Storm in it, and I only had one pack here at the house to open for today's video, so. First and only. Yeah, it was the first and only thing we found that had a pack of Celestial Storm in it. Even Meyer, which has been having, that one's nicely open too. Which has been having some of the older sets still in store, did not have any. Bloop. Hiker, I'm gonna give that to Michelle. Look at the salazzle in the background. <laughs> That's hilarious. She'll she'll like that. Lure Ball. Oracorio. Our daughter's favorite Pokemon is Salazzle. She loves Salazzle. I'm pretty sure I've said that before, but if you're new here, her favorite Pokemon is Salazzle. Salazzle and Oddish, if if I'm being precise. She really loves both of them. Now we're getting into the holiday set of 2018, which came out on September 7th. So it seems like Hidden Fates, oh, it was called Dragon Majesty, sorry, wow, rude. Um, it seems like Hidden Fates came out a little bit early for the holiday set, considering it came out August 23rd of 2019. The other ones have been coming out, ooh, very nice hollow, in September or later, it seems. I've been getting a lot of hollow rares. You have, and I'm sure there's quite a few hollow rares that we need in our stack over there. Dropping stuff. Don't mind me. Okay. I know this is kind of a long video. Most of my videos aren't super duper long. I try to keep them pretty short. Whew. Because 
I know that there are so many other YouTubers out there that you guys want to watch, and I don't want to take up all your time. If you're kind enough to give me your 5, 10, 15 minutes out of your day, I don't want to take any more. I don't want to be greedy, you know? We don't, we don't like that energy in 2020. Reverse hollow salandit and a hollow blaziken. Very nice, very pretty blaziken. I think the kick and chicken is one of my favorite fire starters. Cyndaquil, I really love. Just because, how can you not love Cyndaquil? This is long. Bloop. Again, not too, I not too sure what the cards to look for in this set are because it's been so long since I've opened it. Seems like forever, but it really hasn't been that long, you know. Let me know if you guys are seeing some cards that you forgot about that you really like that have just kind of slipped your mind with all of the new cards that have been coming out because I'm seeing a lot of artwork that I really like that I just forgot about because it had been so long. Da, da, da. All right, we've got Anthem, Grovile, Adventure Bag, Alolan Vulpix, Snubble, Marini, Cyndaquil, Poipo, Larvitar, <gasps> and a Verizion GX. It's the Verizon Wildness Man. All right, we'll sleeve him up, put him back up here so you guys can keep an eye on him for me. Thank you, don't let him go anywhere, he's a trickster. Put this over here. We're running out of space. Now we're getting into Team Up, which was released February 1st of 2019. We'll call that our Valentine's Day set. All right, I love the Venusaur and, uh, I'm sorry. Venusaur and Celebi card, I think it is, from Team Up. And the Snorlax and Eevee, I am a huge fan of. It is very cute, and I like them a lot. Because you guys know those are two of my favorite Pokemon. Reverse Hollow Rare, and a Hollow Dragonite. Ba -ba -ba. Now, I'm going to let my wife open the Detective Pikachu pack. It's just going to have four cards in it. If you guys aren't familiar with the set, it is a small set of 18 cards for the Detective Pikachu movie that came out last year. Now, it was my theory that I brought up to my wife not long ago that the number 18 means something to Pokemon because I can recall off the top of my head two short sets that had the number 18 as a number of importance, I guess. The, uh, da -da -da -da, what's it called? Southern Islands set had 18 cards and now the detective pikachu set has 18 cards and if i'm not mistaken quite a few of the sets end in numbers that are divisible by 18. coincidence i think not i was thinking that maybe because most binders hold nine cards front and well 18 cards at front and back so maybe pokemon was being nice saying they won't ever have like a random incomplete page i don't know maybe there's something in the pokemon lore about 18 i don't know let me know your thoughts in the comments below one two three four now unbroken bonds was a tough tough set for us we are missing so much of this set because quite frankly we rage quit unbroken bonds because the pulls were garbage. They've always been garbage. It's never been good for us. There's so many beautiful cards, yes, but when you spend a lot of money and you're still not pulling anything, not finishing the set, you get tempted, see, pulled nothing. You get tempted to move on and start buying the singles you need because it just gets boring at that point. So open up the Detective Pikachu, here we go. We've got the Detective Pikachu back. We've got the Jigglypuff. Magikarp, Morlo, and a Ludicolo. So like I said, there's only four cards per pack, 18 cards to, com to complete the entire set. We have never, ever, ever pulled a Mr. Mime from any of these. And we opened so many Detective Pikachu packs. So we just bought him. So I bought him on eBay. <laughs> it was hilarious. I couldn't believe we d didn't pull one at all. 
All right, so we're getting into Unified Minds, which is one of my absolute favorite sets. And it kind of irked me how Hidden Fates overshadowed it. I think they planned it too close together with Hidden Fates because, oh wait, Unbroken Bonds was released on May 3rd, 2019, so sorry. Detective Pikachu was released on March 29th, 2019, and Unified Minds was released August 2nd of 2019. August 2nd seems to be one of their favorite dates for sets to be released. Reverse Hollow Noi Bat and a Hollow. Oh, I'm sorry, not a Hollow. A Latios GX. Very nice. Well, the first it's Hollow, technically. Yes, technically it is. Um, before I get back to my original thought about Unified Minds, the first booster box of hit. Uh, hit the face. Uh, the first booster box of Unified Minds that we opened, Nikki pulled three of the four Latios cards, all from one side of the booster box. She pulled the GX, the Full Art, and the Rainbow Rare, and I think there was an alternate art as well, but I don't think she pulled that from that's that side but that's that's pretty wild now back to what i was saying this is one of my absolute favorite sets and it hurt my feelings that it was overshadowed because there's a lot of beautiful cards in the set the rainbow rare mew and mew 2 the slow poke and psyduck is a wonderful card the um espiana deoxys uh umbreon and darkrai there's so many great cards in the set and the fact that Hidden Fates was released just like two and a half, three weeks later, really, really overshadowed it. And there was a lot less hype around it, which I mean, is good and it's bad because the prices of the cards in the set did drop faster, but there, it was just such an exciting set that nobody took the time to appreciate because Hidden Fates and the shiny Charizard kind of made everyone forget about everything. All right, so now we're into Hidden Fates, which was released on August 23rd, 2019. And you all have seen me open so much Hidden Fates. If you like Hidden Fates, if you want to see more, there's plenty on my channel. You can go ahead and click back through those videos. They should, most of them are labeled pretty accurately. Hey, a Wigglytuff GX, and look at that Snorlax Reverse Hollow Rare. Da -da -da, I will give you that so you can sleep in. We've got a new pack of Hidden Fates right here that I will open up. We still have not pulled so many cards from the Hidden Fates set. We have not pulled the Shiny Charizard. We have not pulled the Shiny Umbreon. I did buy a Shiny Umbreon because finally I got sick of waiting. <laughs> um, but, man, I've seen people pull, you know, three, four, five, six. Somebody on Instagram that I follow pulled seven Shiny Charizards. And, oops, oops. We haven't pulled one yet. Maybe one day. Maybe one day we'll pull one. Geoman. Eevee, Jigglypuff, Coughing, ooh, Shiny Feramosa, and a Hollow Misty's Water Command. So that's going to count as a pull, and we will total up our pulls here at the end as well. You know, I always put the price right down below to show you guys the pricing that is accurate as of today, February 15th. And then at the end, I will put the actual total of all the cards we pulled because that's that'll be an interesting number to see since usually we don't get this many pulls in a video. All right, Cosmic Eclipse released on November first, twenty nineteen. Yep, that's right. Sorry, Lose your mind. Pig Knight, Zangu, Lilipa, Trapinch. Now this is also one of my favorite sets because it introduced character cards. I say that every time I open this set, but I can't help it, the character cards are beautiful, people sleep on the character cards, and uh, that's fine. Keep them low price for me to buy because I absolutely love them. When they were first released, I bought quite a few of each of them because I love the crap out of them. I think they're great. But it, I mean, it kind of does cheapen the secret rare thing when you can make them a pull from the reverse hollow spot. But man, I don't care. I think they're awesome. All right. Now, I would like to know what your guys' favorite poll of the day was down in the comments below. Make sure you tell me. Hey, a Venusaur and Snivy! Hell yeah! Look at that. Last pack magic. We love him. Last pack magic. That is right. So there were 16 Sun and Moon sets total. With... That's including the Detective Pikachu set, which you can't really get a pull from, so we'll say 15. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 pulls from 15 sets, and that's 
30, 30 packs total. That's not a bad pull rate, guys. That's not a bad pull rate at all. Especially because these aren't booster box numbers. These are just like random single pack numbers here. That's awesome. We got a bunch of good pulls, so I'm not upset at all. And I picked this specific blister. I looked through them all because... I don't think that's the one. Yeah, look at that swirl. I picked this specifically because I looked through all of them to see if they had a swirl in the hollow because I love the, the little hidden swirls that are in some of the hollows. And this Morpico had such a great one. So you can see the... Okay. Sorry. It's very discombobulating trying to focus. Trying to put stuff right up against that camera. Very nice. Anyways. So. I hope you guys liked this video. I know it was a little bit longer than usual, but forgive me, please. I know I don't post long ones very often. But if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate it. I put out a little bit. I almost spent the card. I put out new videos three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And I also put out videos sprinkled in throughout the week sometimes. I, but I do promise there will be a video Monday, Wednesday, Friday. If you like code cards, go ahead and smash that little subscribe button down there with the bell icon. Smash it again so you get notified when my videos come out so you can be one of the first here to snatch code cards. Please don't take all the code cards. Make sure we are sharing and caring within the community. Don't take them all for yourself. Don't be greedy. Don't be like that. That's rude as heck. I also give some away on my Instagram. You'll find the information for that below in the description. The link for my Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch. I hope you guys have a safe and wonderful weekend, and we'll see you next time.